Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here because today I've got an interesting product that I'm going to share with you. Now, this is a product placement video. You know, I get offers all the time, emails every day from companies asking me to review their products, and I just delete 99.9, .9, maybe even more than that. Uh, so, in order for me to review a product, it has to meet a little bit of criteria. First of all, it can't be a total piece of junk. That's a given. Secondly, it has to be something that I'm going to use here on the property. And third, it has to be something that I think you'll be interested in seeing and maybe you yourself would need that. So, again, very few products uh, meet that criteria, at least the ones that are emailed to me. But today, I happen to have one such product that I'm kind of excited about, and that is this set of logging tongs hanging off the front of my loader. Now, you've probably heard of the company Vivor. They're out there quite a bit now on the internet. They're kind of the internet version of Harbor Freight, but man, they sell a lot of interesting tools and equipment. And from what I've seen, the quality uh, really surpasses the price point. So I figured it was worth a shot. So these logging tongs, now I never thought about getting a pair until I had Brian here the other day with his backhoe and front end loader, and he was moving those giant oak logs from the property. He had a set of these logging tongs, and we tried to hook it to the, to the log, but it just wouldn't open big enough for it, so we weren't able to use it. But I really liked the concept, and I thought, that's something I think I could use, and let me show you why. Now, this happens to be the four-claw model. You can get it with just two claws, but this has four, and it's made from one-inch round stock. It's got a forged D-ring on the top, so you'll need some way to attach this to your loader. Now, of course, I've got the shackle mount that I welded on there and then the clevis and I've got some strap, so I was able to adapt it and get it to work on here. So you'll need to be able to do that uh, some way. But this thing opens up to about 30 inches. You can get all different sizes. They sell single claw, double claw. Well, I guess the double is the only one and then double or four claw. Uh, it's really got these sharp teeth on here. So here's what I'm thinking. Now, sometimes I don't have the grapple connected to the tractor. I just have the bucket on there and I just might need to move a log or something. I don't feel like putting the grapple on or maybe you don't have a grapple and this might be a good opportunity for you to pick up things grapple style. The other good thing about this is that I don't think I would risk racking my loader like I do with the grapple. You know, if you have a big long log or something cumbersome and you don't have it perfectly centered, you're putting weight on that loader and that grapple and you could rack your loader. Ask me how I know. So with this, if you don't pick it up perfectly in the center, it's just going to find center or it's going to it's going to hang low on one side and you can grab it again until you get it leveled off. So I think that's going to work pretty well. Now I've got some logs here, some uh, pretty large pieces of oak that again I could use the grapple for, but I want to be able to just move them over closer to the log splitter. My other thought is that some of these are so big that I wouldn't be able to lift it up onto the log splitter. So I'm thinking that if I use this log grapple, log claw, I can pick up that, bring it over to the log splitter and set it down. That's the idea anyway. So I want to try moving a couple things with this and we'll see how it works. Now here's an example of a pretty awkward piece to move. This is a slice of that big oak tree. It's about five feet in diameter at the large end here. It's about eight inches thick. It's really heavy and I'd have to rig it some way on the bucket to move it. I don't think the grapple would work at all. So I'm thinking that the log tongs will be able to grab onto this. I can pick it up and just set it down on a couple of four by fours and just save it for the future. I have no idea what to do with it, but it's a neat looking piece. So let's try and move this with the tongs.
I love it when things work pretty much exactly the way you expected them to. Now let's move along. Now one thing that's pretty neat about this is that you don't have to get square with the log. Like I came in on a little bit of an angle and it doesn't matter because this rotates. So that's a pretty handy feature to have. Um, and it can also allow you to spin things around. Now I've got this kind of pressed up against the bucket right now, but if I tilted the bucket down, I'd be able to spin it completely around. In fact, let me tilt the bucket forward and we'll try that. I can take this and spin it where I need to. The other thing is I think I can mark this for cutting firewood. I can lift it up and I can cut my 16 inches off this end and that end and kind of work my way in. And that'll again kind of balance itself or I'll be able to work within the, uh, the way it's balanced. I like that. And the, the way this works is the heavier something is, the more those claws dig into it. So it really would be difficult for that to even fall off. Now, one issue I have using this, and it's nothing to do with the tongs themselves, is that I have it hooked to the top of my loader here. So I don't have the height that I might want to get it up onto the log splitter or possibly a sawmill. Um, the other thing is that by being on the front of the bucket here, it really limits my lift capacity because I'm lifting from way out here. So if I were to actually combine this with say my uh, pallet fork frame, and if I were to hook this close up to the frame, I'd have more lift capacity and higher lift capacity. So I'll have to make some modifications and figure out what works best. But other than that, I love the idea of using this thing. Let's take a closer look here. Now the tong material is one inch steel. Looks like it's tied together with some 5 8 bar. Then you have the hinge system, which looks like quarter inch steel. And then up here is the forged D ring, which appears to be about three quarters of an inch. This is the rotation point here. So it allows this to rotate 360 degrees. I think the capacity of this unit is about a ton. Uh, so having a compact tractor, uh, the strength of this unit far surpasses the lift capacity that I have, so I'll never overwork this thing. It'll be just great for my needs. The other thing that I think this would be really handy for, and it's actually made for this, but that would be for grabbing onto logs if you're dragging them out of the forest or just moving them around. In uh, one of my recent videos, you saw me wrap a chain around the log and I dragged it out of the forest, where with this, I don't have to worry about getting under it to wrap the chain around it. You can just hook it to the end once you start pulling on it, it's gonna pull tight and it's not gonna let go. So I think for dragging logs, it would also be really handy. But again, I think that's what it's made for. Now, of course, this is not gonna be as handy as a grapple where you have controls uh, where you can open and close it from the station of the tractor. But if you don't have a grapple, or again, if you are in a situation where you don't wanna put your grapple on or you have another need for it, I think these are pretty darn handy. So. Something to consider for a pretty inexpensive price that's gonna allow you to do more things with your tractor. 
So that's going to do it for me today. Check out the link in the description if you want to learn more about Vivor and learn more about this product. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the content, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Look at that, hands free. These things do grab so well, you have to get off the tractor to release them. Then you just set it aside and back away.